Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as some of you will know, I recently got back from Miami and whilst I was over in the States, of course, I couldn't help but stop by one of my favorite places. I know most of the stuff in Sephora you can now get from the UK, but I couldn't help but pick up a few bits whilst I was there. Some things are things that you can get in the UK, but they're trickier to find. So that is what today's video is all about. I tried on everything and gave you a little first impressions and mini review. Although it is worth noting, there was one thing missing from this haul and I'm really, really sad about it because I cannot find it. And I'm kind of devastated about that. I bought the Fenty Beauty lip gloss Oh my God, that lip gloss is amazing. And I have no idea where it is right now. But if you wanna see what it looks like on, then I will link my Miami vlog in the info box for you guys to go and watch because I showed it in that and I wore it in that and it just looked incredible. I am obsessed. So if I don't find it, I am gonna be ordering a new one ASAP. Um, it's worth mentioning that I love that. It's probably one of my favorite things from this haul. But anyway, I'm gonna get on and show you all of the stuff. And just a heads up, there are some amazing, amazing products in this. Like I am so happy with everything that I bought. Um, it was a very successful Sephora haul. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna go in order of like application just so I can show you these things and apply them and talk about them all at the same time. Um, so the first item we have is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I love the packaging for this. It is gorgeous. Stunning. We all know I love a baby pink, so yeah. So I think I've used this once since I came back to the UK. I've just put a pump for that onto the back of my hand. Um, but I didn't really, I was in a bit of a rush and I didn't pay any attention to my skin really after. I totally meant to, it just didn't happen. Um, on first impressions, this goes on really smoothly. It doesn't feel too silicone heavy it's not too slippy it looks really nice and glowy i don't know if you can see it like my skin looks really radiant after i put this on that feels really nice to apply it also smells kind of nice but not in a like heavily fragranced kind of way i think this one could be a winner so although i didn't really pay too much attention to my skin after the primer had set i did notice that my skin looked very very good at the end of the day after I'd used that because I had a whole day where I had to go to London in the evening, I had like my piercings done. I don't know if you will have seen that vlog yet, not sure. Um, but I had to go to London in the evening and I applied my makeup at 10 in the morning and it looked really, really good. So yeah, and actually my skin looks really, really smooth now that that's all set down. So I'm really happy with that. I would definitely use that again. Second item, I'm really excited to try this. I haven't tried this at all. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I don't know if I like this because it's matte and I'm not really into matte foundations. The one saving grace for this could be that a lot of the time, even if I'm, whatever base I'm wearing, I will wear my Chanel foundation, the really lightweight one, the healthy touch, healthy glow touch cushion foundation, that thing. I will wear that underneath or I'll use it to blend things in. So it kind of saves my skin if it is looking a little bit dehydrated. Um, so this one could still be a winner, but I'm gonna use it without that today. I'm just gonna apply it with a beauty blender. I'm really excited to try this. So there we go. So that is the kind of consistency of it. It's quite liquidy and runny. I got the shade 200. So we will see if that is a decent match for my face there were so many shades i was there for quite a while i did estimate that i'd be around 200 210 220 when i was looking at swatches online so we'll see it could be a little bit too pinky i'm not sure or too yellow i don't even know we'll see how this blends out so i've just used i kind of used a pump and a half on the back of my hand and there's still like quite a lot left over actually a really really good color match not sure about how it's looking so far on my skin i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep bopping the fear the fear you can you see the fear on my face i'm like please let this look okay please let this look okay there's nothing worse than buying like quite an expensive foundation and then it not working out and also i have no friends that are the same skin tone as me so i can't give this away to my mates either one part of me looks at this and is like yes and the other part of me is like it's not the YSL All Hours Foundation. But they can't all be the YSL All Hours Foundation because that one is just my holy grail. But on camera, I really like it. I don't know if I'll edit this back and 
feel differently. We've got quite good coverage. It's done quite a decent job of just about like covering these scars a little bit on my cheeks and they're really really hard to cover up. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's like full coverage. Honestly, I don't really know. I didn't read up too much on this so I don't know if it is meant to be like full full coverage or like a medium buildable. I'm gonna see how it builds. Ooh. Ooh. Builds well. Builds well. Okay. Could be a bit of a game changer for me guys. I think this might be the first like haul where I've ever oohed and aahed at something. <laughs> Especially a foundation. Oh yeah. I really like this. Okay so I, what I would say is definitely go in a little bit at a time and build up because I really like how that looks now. Just adding a little bit like the last bit I have left on my forehead. So I would say a pump and a half and I'm good. Use it in little bits. Build it up. Oh, I really like it. I'm on board. I am on board. The one thing I didn't use, why did I not use this? I didn't use this and I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't use it. It's the foundation brush. It's 1110 is the number of it. It is so beautiful. I love it. It feels very like very like soft and synthetic -y. I don't know if I actually would like using this. I will give this a go at another time and let you know. And then I also picked up the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick Matte Skin Stick in the shade Bamboo. There are less, a lot less shades of these than there are of the foundations. Um, and I've actually used this a little bit before this video. I used this when I was in Miami because my skin was much much dewier because of the heat um so this actually made a really nice um kind of concealer for my skin it matted things down a little bit and i really liked that i would say it's not like massively full coverage my ysl all hours concealer still has way more coverage but it's really nice and buildable and i find it really nice for um the oilier parts of my face and i would definitely just continue using it all the time and I think it's nice for like a no makeup makeup day as well you just put the concealer where you want it and it's really good for like around my nose which is especially where I want my concealer to be matte and like long lasting still does not do an amazing job of covering the final bits of my blemishes but that's fine sometimes it's nice to kind of let them peek through a little bit you know not always but sometimes I'm okay with them peeking through each day but I did do an okay job of the scars on my forehead it's mainly just the ones on my cheeks because they're so obvious. I don't know, I, d I just always find this area is like scars worse, things you can see bumps a lot worse than you can on your forehead. Okay, so that is my skin after foundation and concealer. I'm pretty happy with that. Like, I don't know if you can see the scarring is still kind of here a little bit, a little bit there, but that's it. And I actually really like the look of my skin right now it's not it's not all dewy but it looks really really flawless and i'm very happy with it so the next thing i picked up was the Too faced just peachy matte palette this has just come out in the uk i believe as well but i wanted to pick it up early because i don't always receive Too faced products so it's not like it was something that i knew i'd get immediately when i came back to the uk so i decided to pick it up in the US and I can't remember if there's even a Too Faced stand anywhere near me there might be in Debenhams but I think that would be it so I just wanted to pick it up as I was there in Sephora and this is the most gorgeous palette so it has all of these really beautiful shades and it smells so incredible so peachy and I love the fact that all of the shades are matte it just pleases me so much I can't I'm just not into shimmery shades that much at the moment and this palette is just gorgeous like I love these peach like I love peachy pinks and this is just so stunning and I know I'll get so much wear out of this in the summer so I used this whilst I was in Miami and I was mixing peach butter which is this shade here and then peach tea which is this brown shade and then just sweeping that all over my eyelid using a big fluffy blending brush because I didn't want it to be really really intense I just wanted a really nice light wash as is the way I want most of my eyeshadows most of the time so i tend to use a blending brush a lot because i don't want my eyeshadow to be really really intense i like it to be really really soft and a little bit more natural so that was kind of the base that i was putting all over my eyelid and then i was taking peaches and cream on the brush and just popping this on the outer half of my eye just to warm it up and i really like the way this looked i'll bring you in a little bit closer and then just to finish off, I was adding fresh picked, is it fresh picked? Yeah, fresh picked 
into the outer corner and crease. So just blending this outer corner and then moving up and over through the crease and then just winging it out a tiny bit just to lift my eye. And then to finish off, I just took, and then to finish off, I take a little bit of peach meringue, which is down here and just swirl that through the inner corner of my eye just to open things up a tiny little bit. And I didn't do this in Miami, but one thing that I definitely plan on doing, um, and let me know if you would like a tutorial of this at some point, is basically doing this kind of brownie eye look, but then adding this really vibrant peach color to the underneath of my waterline or to the inner corner, I think would look amazing. Um, oh God, it's just such a gorgeous palette. I also love this shade here, which is Peach Cobbler. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, I might actually add a little bit of that in. I'm just gonna pop that in my outer corner and then sweep over the eyelid. I'm gonna pop a little bit under my eye as well. And there we go. Gorgeous palette because it's matte. Everything lasts for such a long time. I don't get any creasing over my eyelid. It's just really, really pretty. It smells amazing. I just love Too Faced palettes. I'm gonna do the rest of my face now and come back to you for the final makeup product that I picked up and then I'll go through everything else that I picked up in Sephora. Okay, whilst I'm doing my makeup, I thought I'd talk to you about a few of the things that I used specifically whilst I was in Miami for my evening makeup looks. Um, the first thing being the Tanya Burr Cosmetics. Um, it's like a baked illuminating powder. It's called Warm Bronze. It's really, really pretty. And some of the nights I actually didn't use the Too Faced palette and I had this illuminating powder over my cheeks and on my eyes as well and it's just such a laid back look and i really love that so i did that some nights as well i don't know if you can see highlight probably better this side but this looks so nice in pictures so i sweep it over the top of my temples along the tops of my cheekbones down the center of my nose keep as bow and it makes such a difference to the cupid's bow. And then my chin as well. And some nights I do the powder first and then my contour and then sometimes I do it the other way around. But what I did was because it's a powder, if I wanna use cream on top, that kind of sometimes can go a bit funny. So I just blend it in with my beauty blender first. And this just made it look so natural. It just makes such a difference. So I'm now forever gonna bop powder products in with a beauty blender after I'm finished applying them because it just blends it into the skin so beautifully so then for contour probably could have done this the other way around but it doesn't really matter too much um, I'm using the Clinique chubby stick what is it called chubby sculpting contour in the shade curvy contour and I was just using that on my temples down either side of my nose tip of my nose always looks so funny um yeah and then contoured down my cheeks as well and I don't really use this in the day but for evenings this is perfect and uh today I am blending this out with a new Real Techniques brush this is from their brush crush collection look at how awesome it is so gorgeous I'm just blending that up through my temples I haven't been doing the top of my forehead so much recently because I have one of those moments where I realised I have a really small forehead and I don't need to put like contour right at the top. If I do anything, I might put the tiniest bit of bronzer there, but I'm not really uh, gonna contour up there anymore. So going up through my temples again. I always tend to go in a little bit stronger than I originally plan because any excess on my brush I can use under my chin and down my neck but I'm also gonna get my beauty blender and blend this all out and it's gonna look amazing one thing I will say is having used a matte foundation underneath this it is definitely harder to blend my contour today so I think a beauty blender is definitely the necessary choice for blending out product if you're using the Fenty uh, foundation it's, it just stuck which is cool but around my nose it's really really hard to blend out then what i've also been doing is using the um concealer stick to clean up 
any contour that I don't like the look of. Like if it's gone down too far, whatever, you can see it just really tidies it up. It just gives a much neater contour line. It also helps to blend out the edge of the contour though as well so it doesn't look too stark. And then finally, for lip liner, whilst I was in Miami, I actually didn't bring a lip liner that really was like the colour of my lip and was really working out for me so I kind of improvised a little bit. I happen to have just taken this which is the Clarins four colour all in one pen. It does have a lip liner in it. Hello. But I don't love the colour of it. It's very um like warm and it doesn't look like my natural lip colour. So I was like what I need is a brown. And there is a brown eyeliner on this. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I did. I was so improvising, desperate times and everything. So as you can see, terrifying. So I was applying that and then blending that edge out and it already made such a difference. And then I was doing the same on the bottom, but just here and here, not going right into the center because then I think that's when it starts to look very 90s and it's not cute. I just blend that out a tiny bit. And then if things were looking a tiny bit too brown still, then I take the lip liner, which is lighter and warmer, and just run that over the top and blend again. And same with the bottom. And then what I do after this is I would either go in with some Vaseline or a lip balm or in the evenings, this baby. So this is the Buxom Lip Gloss. This is the last makeup product that I picked up from Sephora and it's in the shade Sandy. It's one of their lip glosses that's very like tingly um, and kind of plumping and it doesn't have like any shimmer in it or anything which is what I really liked about it. And it is just the most beautiful nudie colour. So I just applied this over the top. Look at that pinky colour, it's so cute. And it really helped just blend everything together. I mask the fact that I had uh, used brown eyeliner as my lip liner. Oh my gosh, it's so tingly. So this was my Miami evening makeup look, just obviously I wasn't using the Fenty Beauty foundation or primer, but it's very, very similar, just a little bit less dewy. Very simple, very neutral, and I really, really liked it. Um, I'm gonna kind of bring you back out now and I'll talk you through the last few things that I picked up from Sephora. Okay, so the other things that I picked up from Sephora were, firstly, two minis of the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. This is their Preta Powder Dry Shampoo, which has recently launched. I think it was on like the 15th of Jan or something. I really, really enjoy using this and I thought that having the mini cans, which Sephora and its minis always get me, but having the mini cans is amazing. It just makes traveling with dry shampoo so much easier. So I picked up two of those, very, very happy with them because when, how often do you find mini dry shampoos of your favorite shampoo, dry shampoo? So yeah, very, very happy with that. Then I also picked up a rollerball. I love the rollerball section of Sephora. It's one of my favorite sections ever because you just don't get that in the UK like if you live in the US and you think that's normal it, it is for the US but not for us in the UK we don't have it so every time I go in there I have to pick up something some kind of rollable and this time I picked up YSL black opium I don't think they did this the last time I went in there or it wasn't in the last store that I went into so I decided to pick this up because it is one of my all-time favorite perfumes and I love it so much so now I can travel with it all the time and I don't have to take a giant bottle and then the final thing I picked up I always pick these up when I go to Sephora every single time picked up the Invisibubbles in the blush color which are the cutest things ever and my pink ones just always go missing they're my most used uh, I think apart from like the clear ones the clear ones always seem to make their way back to me though the pink ones never do I don't know what is up with that so I picked up some new ones this is a little pack of three I love them so much they're just so cute so yeah very very happy that i now have a little pink set again and that is it for my sephora haul didn't go too nuts like this is a pretty sizable haul really but it didn't go too nuts in comparison to previous years and yes i am aware that you can get fenty beauty in the uk but i just never ever make it into harvey nicks it's not um like an area of london that i regularly go to so actually it was more convenient for me to pick up Fenty Beauty whilst I was in Sephora rather than trekking to Harvey Nicks um, because I don't usually just end up in that part of London. But I'm really glad that I have tried it now because I really rate the products. I really like them and I would definitely like to try more. And I feel like 
there are other products that I'd like to try but that I can buy online so I'll probably make an online order let me know if you would like to see more reviews on Fenty Beauty I think it's a great line honestly as a whole brand I love Fenty Beauty I think it's it's just gorgeous so I'm definitely interested in trying more things and I think I'm gonna leave it here because I feel like this video is gonna have been really really long I think I'm on like 20 minutes of talking already i'll probably make it over to the states again soon so if you'd like to see another sephora haul do let me know and i will get shopping because i you guys know i have no problem with that so yeah let me know also i'm going to be back very soon with an everyday makeup of all of the current products that i am loving using how i'm using them what i'm doing because i've had a lot of questions on my current makeup routine so i'm gonna do a whole like walkthrough of that it's just gonna be a chatty um, video not really a tutorial because you guys see me looking exactly the same all the time it's just different products same look which I'm fine with because this is me I probably should branch out at some point though um so maybe I will do that I will do some kind of actual makeup tutorial that isn't neutral at some point let me know what you'd like to see I have one tutorial actually that I really want to do and I might film this weekend if I get the chance. Yeah, let me know if there are any specific makeup looks you'd like to see, tweet me pictures. Um, I'm hello underscore October underscore on Twitter. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.